welcome to the fourth day and today we will be digging a little more deeper into Google Analytics. As you know, the goal of this whole series is to make your life easier. It's to make your web page even more stunning and awesome. And for this, you need just between 15 and 30 minutes every day. So I hope that you have this time also today. From yesterday, you know where to find uh, your main metrics in Google Analytics, right? So today we will look more deeper into Google Analytics, where you can set up your goals, where you can find them. If you are having eShop, we will look uh, where you can set up an e-commerce tracking and to make your life a little, little more easier in the future, I will show you where you can build a basic dashboard where you will have all your main metrics. So within like two clicks next time, you will see everything you need to. Since I'm outside right now, I need to go to my laptop because that's where I can show it to you. So let's go. <laughs> So when you log into your Google Analytics account, you will basically end up on the homepage, right? So where can you find if you already have set up some goals or not previously, or somebody might have done it for you already? So you just go to the conversions right in here, click on it. Uh, here are the goals and the overview. And if this page is coming out, you don't have set up your goals at all yet. And let me show you how does it look like if uh, you already have some goals. So for example, on this different account, and again, we are going to the conversions, goals, overview. And here you can see that uh, the goals are already set up, some of them. Here you can actually choose uh, what you want to see. And here you, are s uh, here you can see the basic overview uh, how you are already fulfilling your goals or not. And if you don't have them set up yet or you need a different goals to set up, you just go to the admin in here. And here you can see the goals again. Click on it. And here you can see that uh, there is already one goal set. Up. And it's very easy to set up a new one. You just click on to add a new goal and just follow the instructions written in there basically. This is the big help for you uh, because you can see uh, that first step is to go set up and you can choose from the template or the custom. The easiest way is actually to choose from the template. For example, uh, you want to uh, see and measure more your revenues and here also you can see that it's helping you and showing you these goals will help you to check your revenues. These ones are for acquisitions, these ones are for inquiry, and these ones are for engagement. So, so you can just basically choose from one of these packages. And here, just for example, check the revenue, place an order, and we click continue. You can change the name which will be more suitable for you, or you can leave it like this. This goal slot ID, it's uh, just another ID how you can find the goal. And here you can choose the type. Uh, the best way in my point of view is to uh, choose the destination. And the destination, it means, um, it means that you will have there uh, like a thank you page. You know, when someone is sends you the inquiry, uh, then on your website pop, pops up the thank you site and it has its URL address. And basically you just use this and you will put there the URL address. So let's see how that works. And yeah, this is exactly what I was mentioning. Equals two and you will just put here the URL address. So let's do that. Here, for example, uh, I already sent the inquiry on the contact form and I just copy paste the URL address and I will just easily put it in here and save. Hi. 
and it was success and you see here is my another new goal place an order now you will be able to see it here in your conversions in the overview right in here if you are having an e-shop or you are selling something on your web page you should have set up an e-commerce tracking so where can you find that out we are going again to conversions but this time to e-commerce and overview and here you can see that it was set up and you can see all the basic data but how does it look like when it's not set up again conversions e-commerce overview and this page is coming out your e-commerce tracking is not ready yet so for that part you need to get in touch with your web developer who will help you to set it up if your web developer is not sure um, how to set it up you can just help him out with this link you can find him directly in the description of the video just send this to the developer and it should be clear for him or her what to do last but not least thing I would like to show you are actually the dashboards and I believe this could help you a lot so what do you need to do customization dashboards and here you can see if you have here any created dashboard already or you can just click on create and create your own dashboard and you have actually three options uh, first option is that um, you would just use this blank canvas where you can put whatever you want to or what I think it's better uh, to use the starter dashboard where you have the basic charts so just click on it you name it and you just create a dashboard it's easy like that in here you just get the basic charts and overview of uh, what are set up and you can change these things you can play with it a little you can add a widget uh, you can add there a table pie bar whatever you want to you can add a metric um, whatever you need to and just save and create another widget or you can just delete or edit this these things so that's work that works very easily you just need to play with it a little and think through it what you actually need to see in these dashboards on the regular daily basis or another option is that you just create a new dashboard but what would you do is that you will use somebody's dashboard of what they created so you just click on the import gallery what I just did and here you can see and you can basically like Google any kind of dashboards um, you can just use some uh, specific keywords such as eShop and they're applied right here and you can uh, check the dashboard somebody created for eShops it's always good to uh, look uh, how popular they are if they have enough reviews and downloads and how many stars they have so let's for example try this one it looks kind of all right so let's check it out 4.2 that's okay you can actually also read some here some reviews or comments when you decide to just do it just click on import and it imports everything and here it shows you what it's actually going to import so you just click create and here it's actually showing you it jumped to the administration to share assets and it's showing you uh, how many assets it imported and where it did uh, so let's go back to the dashboards and see what happened so VP digital dashboard that's it that's what we just created or imported and here you can see again that it created some basic overview for me and again I can do the same thing I can rename it so I know that it's my uh, second dashboard and I can again uh, change any widgets or create add some any other widgets what is also great is that it created these custom reports and you have here for example a paid search report already prepared where you can see all the data from the paid search so you don't actually need to dig in the Google Analytics but it already created 
the reports here in custom reports. But it always depends on uh, which report and dashboard you will choose from the gallery. So that's basically it. Next time you will come to the Google Analytics, you just click on dashboards, my second or first dashboard you created, and you see all the data you need to see. So that should make it much more easier for you. So now you saw everything. I hope that now you have time to actually try it on your own and test it out. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video tomorrow. If you enjoyed it, give a thumb up, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, just write in the comments below the video. I will answer to you and have a nice rest of the day. I'll see you tomorrow.